the Baradelli bonus. All right, so this is raging flood water in Mexico from Alberto. Uh, they saw over a foot of rainfall. And that's one of the rivers that's raging there. And it wasn't just there. We saw a lot of storm surge along the coast in Texas. Now, remember, this was really only a 40-mile-an-hour tropical storm. So why so much storm surge penetrating so far inland? So let's talk about that. First of all, look at the storm surge here. Generally around four feet. That's a lot for a tropical storm. And Galveston Bay, because it funnels the water inside the bay, it, it causes more storm surge. 4.7 feet of surge there. So what was going on? Why would Alberto, such a, a, a weak storm, cause so much storm surge? Well, one of the reasons is this big heat dome kind of doing battle against what is Alberto right here and the wind being squeezed in between and a really long fetch of wind straight across the Gulf. Storm wasn't moving very fast, and so the wind was intensified by that pressure difference between high pressure and low pressure. So the super long fetch forces water on shore, and the storm itself, well, the wind field was really big because it was competing against that heat dome to the north. So the wave heights got really high because of that super long fetch, up to around 15 feet in the Gulf of Mexico. So what do you need for large surge? Well, the storm intensity matters, but storm size matters just as much. Larger storms push more water and affect the area for longer. And when you have a shallow, gentle slope in the Gulf, and slow movement and also sea level rise. Speaking of sea level rise, in Galveston, since 1905, they've seen 2.5 feet of sea level rise. So you can imagine, without sea level rise, a lot less of that area would have been flooded. That is today's Baradelli Bonus.